So in this video, we'll be talking about structural defects. And specifically, at the end, I'll focus on fatigue uh, and what it involves for a concrete member. So remember, as usual, we always refer back to this classification system that we have. We talked about in previous videos the physical and the chemical uh, defects that, are, that take place in concrete. In this video, the focus is on structural and mechanical defects. Now, a structural defect in a concrete member takes place when there's large amounts of stresses on the concrete member, and that leads the concrete to crack, uh, and the concrete generally would fail. Now, the image that you see in front of you is a very extreme version of what can happen if your foundation system breaks down. Uh, structural defects are a result of excessive live loads or dead loads. Now, a live load on a structure is any load where it's not fixed. For example, people that move around uh, on a given floor, for instance, on if, you, if you're considering a slab, that would be considered as a live load. Uh, a dead load is the self-weight of the slab itself. How would a defect look like if it were to be classified as a structural defect? There's two sort of cracks that you will see uh, on a concrete member. Um, and these structural cracks, one is vertical, and that's when it's a flexural crack. And the other is diagonal, and that's when it's a shear crack. So a flexural crack usually takes place uh, in the area that has the maximum tension or moment. And in our previous example, it was in the middle. So you can see the load on the structure. And then in the middle, there was the cracks that had started from the bottom. You can see them, these are cracks that look vertical. So these are flexural structural cracks. Shear cracks, on the other hand, they start on the sides of the, of the member, so diagonal at the bottom, and they move upwards in a diagonal fashion. Now fatigue for a concrete member is a result of long-term failure. So it's constant loading and unloading of a structure. You can think of it as, for instance, if you've got a concrete pavement and there's traffic, so there's vehicles that move onto uh, that concrete member. So in the long run, the pavement will crack uh, and the crack is due to fatigue. So at that point, the bond between your aggregates and the cement, it fails. When it fails, you see cracks. They usually get bigger with time and it can be uh, a, of a structural concern to a concrete member. This is a very good reference that talks about uh, structural defects. I do hope that this video has helped clarify some of the structural defects that are common in concrete members.